Hi, I'm Streaky. Today I'm reviewing the Access Passive Monitoring Controller from Audio Linear. So this is the Access Passive Monitor Controller by Audio Linear. Now Audio Linear are a new company, I believe this is their first product. It's passive because it has no power, so all it's doing is attenuating the sound, turning it down, um, with a big knob, and uh, you've got inputs and outputs. So really, what you want this box for is so that you can't hear it in your signal chain. It's just there purely as a function of the room to be able to monitor the different input signals, whether that be um, ADAT, DAT, mini disc, um, you know, all those top formats that you're listening to, CD, um, cassette, whatever you want on the input. And then on the output, you've got your different speakers, your orotones and blah, blah, blah. It's, um, so it's just going in and out, turning the sound up and down. Basic, these boxes, you do not want to hear them. You just want them to do the job that they're there for. Now, this one, it took me a while to get it going because which I don't like personally, is that it's all on jacks at the back. I'm purely an XLR kind of guy. My room's all XLRs um, just because that's the way it is. I think a lot more units are coming with, with these space saving um, jack plugs. A lot of the audio interfaces that I test out now all come with them on the back. Just keep them small, neat, portable. Um, and I think it, but I, you know, I prefer a big jack that you can plug in. I know it's there, it's solid. It seems a little bit, the wires are, you know, all going just to one pin. I like that. It makes me feel comfortable. Sound wise, I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes. Um, I haven't tested that, so I wouldn't be able to tell you, but it's a lovely unit. I mean, it's really solid. It's not, I've seen some of these before, similar, similar things, you know, it's sitting on the top. If it gets knocked, you need you want it to be able to handle itself. You don't want a big dent in the side from it being wood or you know it having some kind of plastic that's going to crack. So it's a good solid solid box. It's not sitting in a rack where you you know you're not going to nudge it and stuff. So it's good. You, it's very portable as you can see. So you can take it with you so that you can just have your setup on the go, which is very handy indeed. Uh, it has um, it has some phono inputs on on channel three. Now there's four inputs. Uh, number four, as you can see, is a mini jack. These are phonos, and then you've got two sort of quarter inch jacks. The outputs are there's three outputs, and they're all on on quarter inch jacks too. So it took me a little while to get it going because I had to get a load of cables in. But having said that. It, I couldn't hear any sound coming from it, which is the main test of this sort of unit, which is what you want. It's just, you don't want it to colour the sound at all. And I couldn't hear any colour coming from it, which is obviously a great thing. It has some other little trims on the output, which are great, so that you can line your monitors up and you can, you can change those lineups so that you can get everything flat so you can just switch quickly between your different types of speakers. That, that's lovely. Uh, it's got a dim dim function for obvious reasons and a mute and it can go into mono. Now the one thing that I really want this unit to do is it's got trims on this side. I really want trims on my on my inputs as well because I want to be able to I could throw different signals to these inputs then and then change those especially in a mastering situation where you've got something coming in low level something going out at a high level if you can throw some of those outputs into the inputs you can then monitor different different things you've got going on which is for me would be really handy because I could then turn those out turn the things that are coming back in I can turn them down so that the input will be the same as the output and then flip between which is exactly what you want to be doing all the time just testing and testing so you might not have to do anything and you can just sort of get it moving. I know that's the same in mixing. You might try different mix buses and stuff and want to flick them into the inputs and then hear those. So to have this on this side would be ideal. Now there's one other thing that I would have as well, 
if if I if it was my if I was building this personally is I would want to be able to phase reverse the mono. Now what that does is um, you can hear any distortions or any clicks or pops because it's reversing the phase, sticks it in mono, and then anything that's sticking out you can hear. That's a massively good feature on the Masselec desk which I've had a lot of experience on. Uh, and I think Coleman Audio have that on theirs now. They never used to, but they do now. So that, they would be the two things I'd like to change. But really, it's a great box. It's, you can't hear it, which is good. It's got plenty of um, different types of inputs. Solid as a rock. This is a lovely, as you can hear, this is a lovely, um, it's a lovely big knob, which we all want. Uh, that's all I can say really, very nice bit of kit. Well thanks for watching, I'm always here reviewing stuff, if you want me to review anything then please let me know, mainly pro audio, audio stuff, things that will just make a better sound for you, your room and how you're making music or how you're listening to music. If you haven't subscribed please subscribe below, please leave any comments, let me know if you've tried this or anything like this, if there's other, other boxes like this I'd really like to hear them, I think they're, they're great little units. And, and very handy to have. So I'd love to check a few more out. Um, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.